today we're looking at job X again, this right there. It looks like it's going pretty good. We had it, uh, we're not looking at two months here, we're going for about a dollar and sixty five, all the way to two twenty four, back down to about a one eighty eight here, uh, holding above that two hundred EMA, so it's looking good. Uh, hopefully we can see a break above that VWAP and we can start to see the stock run again today, make some money off it. Uh, we've got SPRC again. I think this one was running yesterday at the last day of the two of that as well. Um, again, we're going from 241 all the way up to just uh, above 460 here, uh, back down to the $3 range, but uh, not looking super bullish right now. Um, might be hoping for a bounce off this uh, 200 EMA before we take a play off that. Um, RDBS is always running, um, so we've got some short squeeze potential. Looking like it ran up for about 740 all the way up to 840, 1250. Um, looking pretty bullish right now. We're sitting above that VWAP line, so maybe we'll take a play and start to run. Uh, we've got PCBP, not really my favorite to play here. We went from 88 cents all the way to about 20, back down to 90 cents. Anything below a dollar, I'd try to stay away from. Oh, good call. There, that should have fixed it. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, TCBP, not really my favorite to play. It's uh, under a dollar right now, so not really too much of a fan of that. We've got BKSY, which ran yesterday. It's not looking too hot either, and DATS just popped up. It, has, it doesn't have a whole lot to go off of, so we'll have to come back to that. Um, GovX is looking pretty bullish right now, so I think we are going to go ahead and take a play off GovX. Uh, we're going to be looking to get in around that one... I'd like to get in a little lower than 190. If we can, we're going to aim for about um, maybe 210 and then a 180. Let's go 185. Give it a 5 cent. Oops. 185. Not 185.4. All right, so here's our 190 entry. Might get a little bit better, but I doubt it. Uh, looking like it might go all over the place. We could stop out on this fairly easily, but uh, this could also be something that runs. GovX, there we go. We've got $2. We could start to scale out here. So we're going to start that scaling out process. Starting to scale out of GovX. We hit uh, up to 205 there, so that was looking pretty good. Um, I do think we just hit this resistance line. We might get rejected off it, but so far we're sitting above it, which is good. Um, as far as I can tell, my line might be off a little bit, so we might actually be sitting below, but it is looking pretty good, so I think my line is on point there. We're at 205 still. Hopefully we see 210 out of that pretty quick. SPRC is not really moving. We have RDBX kind of... Uh, it's moving, that's for sure. We've got a decent range on these candles. Uh, looking fairly bullish. I'm a little worried about this one, but I think we could probably try an RDPX trade. Um, we're looking at probably an entry around $8. We're going to go for a $9 PT, and then we'll go for a seven eighty dollars stop. So we're going to give it about $0.20 cents a room, which puts us down here. Got back still at that seven oh five. We did hit 2 or sorry, not... 705, 205. Did hit as high as 207 there. Big drop back down to that 190 mark. Looks like it's climbing back up just as easily though, so we're probably going to see that PT. RDBX starting its run now. I'm going to go ahead and type that in on the tracker. Are we going to see higher than the top of this band though? I'm not entirely sure yet, so... We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, BKSY is not looking too bad. We might see a curl up here. We are seeing a decent amount of volume pick, picking up on it, so uh, that's something to keep an eye on. DATS really isn't doing a whole lot. Uh, we have SPRC, RDBX, GovX, BSGM. So let's check out BSGM really quick. GovX is coming down a little bit again. BSGM. BSGM's not really looking all that great yet, so we're just going to leave this be for now. Um, LQDA. Oh, that had a nice curl up. We have a decent amount of volume, I guess. Might be enough, um, but let's check out Seat. Seat's been running since open here, it looks like. Going from $8 all the way to just under $9, but uh, not really my favorite just yet. 
Uh, RDBX coming down. So if you didn't get your entry at eight dollars, it looks like it's probably going to give it to you. SPRC not really moving. We have GovX hitting that uh, 204. Looks like we're starting to we're making higher highs with the uh, bodies of the candles, which is nice to see. Conviction is slowly growing. We are seeing BKSY um, start to curl up really nicely here. We're still seeing a lot of volume. I think this could be the potential next play here, BKSY. Um, we're going to go for a 235 entry. Uh, we're going to aim for 250 with a 230 stop out, I think. Let's go 230 stop out. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Might not quite get 235, might get better, might get worse, but somewhere around that uh, ballpark there. BKSY. <clears throat> RDBX still looking good. GovX still holding on to that $2 mark. I do start to worry. We have seen this not really making much more in gains here. So I do think that's probably due for a pullback, maybe back down to that 190 area again. Um, hopefully no lower than that, but can never really tell. So you could either cut around this $2 mark or 205 area if you want um, with the remainder, or you can hold on and see what happens. TCBP continues to stir up, so we're just going to not really pay attention to that. Um, BKSY, nice jump up. We saw 248. That's actually almost PT. We're almost there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start to scale out, scaling out of BKSY around 250. We're hitting this resistance line, which is why I'm scaling out. We're not quite that 250 PT yet, but uh, we're getting fairly close and we do see that resistance there. So we don't really want to risk too, too much, especially for only two more cents. Uh, we had our DBX here, the massive spike up to 869 back down quite a bit there um govx still still holding still slightly climbing i guess we'll see if this can actually push that 210 mark not looking super likely here uh apyx is popping up let's take a look at that well we're in the right range here four dollars to 450 all right the price range isn't bad um not really a huge fan of the candles forming, though. I think we're going to wait for a big pullback if we did get into this. Uh, GovX just does take that nasty drop I was thinking about uh, back down to 194. Looks like it's got a lot of bullish pressure still keeping it up, but we have a lot of sellers stacking, so we might see this drop down even further. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. BKSY looking good here. Hits that resistance again. Looks like it's getting rejected again. If you didn't take your profits at 248, I'd be starting to get a little worried about it. Uh, we have been rejected at least twice here. All right, slight breakthrough, rejected again. Still waiting to see that uh, 250 on it, but. Yeah, I could take a look at ABDL. Uh, it's looking okay, I guess. I mean, I don't see much of a recovery happening here. We haven't really seen a huge increase in price uh, versus that MACD recovering. So this is usually what happens before another drop. Plus, we have the 200 EMA above the VWAP line, which also isn't really a great sign for daily bullishness. So I think we'll probably end up leaving this one alone for a little bit, unless we see something crazy happen on it. AGRI, that one's always a popular one. Let's take a look at AGRI. Yeah, AGRI is looking a little bit better here. We saw some nice candles going from 290 all the way to 310 here, the high of 313. Uh, looks like it's consolidating right now. Could be consolidating from another till another run, but uh, we do see a lot of volume decrease here. So we'll probably likely see this come down at least to this VWAP line, I would assume. So we'll be waiting on that. BKSY looks like it is going to start to curl back down. RDBX hits that high of 870. 
uh, three times in a row, so I think we're going to start to plan to scale out of RDBX around 870. Just because we don't want to be holding something that this long um, that hit resistance that many times and not uh, and not gone anywhere with it. So we'll let that be for now. SPRC not doing anything. Um, we do see a nasty drop on GovX. So if you didn't, if you're not fully out of the position yet, I'd be like slightly worried about this. Um, I do think that we have a strong resistance here at this 200 EMA, and we have another resistance line just above it. So I think we have a lot that will stop it from dropping past that uh, uh, 184 mark. But yeah, I think in either case, he'll probably be stopping out on the remainder if you're still holding it. And then we'll probably be looking for a re-entry on that. RDBX starting to head down. We have VKSY. Uh, fighting back, not really dropping too much further than this uh, VWAP line, but we'll have to give it a minute and see um, if it can actually hold. If it can hold, we might see that 250 mark. If it starts to break down, I would definitely be cutting the remainder if you're holding anymore. Seat not really doing much. Um, APYX. Going for another uh, small run here. We're actually medium-sized run, I'd say. 450 to 470. Not bad. 20 cents. AGRI still consolidating, volume still getting lower, so we're most likely going to see a drop on that. PKSY still holding, uh, GovX down to 190, starting to curl up. I think that's what we want to see here. We could try another GovX uh, around that 190 mark. If you can get a little bit better, that's even better for you. Uh, we're going to go for about that, we'll go for a 205 PT because we know we can hit that, and then we'll go for a 180. Yeah, we'll go for a 185 stop. I don't want to go lower than that 185, even though, you know, we do see that there's um, some strong resistance, like right below that two cents below, three cents below. Um, I don't think we're going to really have to worry about that. And I really just, uh, I don't like giving things that much room. I'd like to have my risk fairly tight. All right, so we're seeing a little bit of a gain on GovX here. It might come back down a little bit first. Um, RDBX with a nasty, nasty drop. Hopefully you took profits. If not, um, we're not stopped out yet, but it looks like it might, uh, I don't think it'll stop you out, but you could be holding it for quite some time before you see some profits now. Um, APYX still going. AGRI does drop back down to that VWAP line. Looks like it might hold here, but I'd like to see an increase in volume, which we are seeing so far, um, which is a good sign. Still not quite ready to jump in on it, but it was good to see that for sure. Um, that's just going to close down because it's not going to do anything today. And SPRC, we'll give it a chance here for a little while because we are seeing quite a bit of volume, but, um, it's not looking likely that we'll play that one either. Uh, we did see a nasty drop on GovX. I think it just stopped us out there. So it looks like we probably should have given it that extra cent or two. Um, but we can always retry. To stop on GovX. It hit 185. Oh, you got filled? Oh, hang on, let me check. Oh, you're right. I didn't get stopped out either. Didn't I hit 185? Oh, my stop wasn't on 185. Silly me. It's on 186 on Trading View. I was like, I was so confused there. All right, cool. Cool, so we're still in it. Yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah, because you can barely see it when it's at 185, so I, I guess I just put it on 186 and forgot I put it there. Uh, BKSY, uh, someone was asking about an RDBX entry. Um, yeah, anywhere down here looks like it could be a potentially good entry. Um, anywhere, you know, like as long as this band is covering that stop loss area and your, your entry is at least at the same level or maybe, maybe a tiny bit higher than mine, you should be fine for an entry. If that made sense, I'm not even sure if that made sense, but, uh, BKSY we can take a look at. Um, I wouldn't be entering BKSY yet. We're not seeing too much in, uh, terms of support here. It did just break through that last support level. Uh, maybe down here, if we see the MACD start to curl, we could take another play off it, but as of right now, I'd definitely just be leaving it alone. Um, GovX not looking great. 
it looks like it's starting to decrease in volume. We're decreasing in price action. We could exit here for basically a break even or, you know, wait for a second or two until you see that break even point. Um, or you can hold it in hopes that it starts to go up. I personally am going to cut it at break even, I think. Cutting gov x at I'm just not liking the way it's looking right now. If it starts to curl back up, we can always jump back in. I mean, it's only costing me like $3,000 each way in fees, which sounds ridiculous, but it's, I mean, with an account size this big, it really, it isn't. But uh, we'll have to see. Snow. 798 on RDBX. That's, that's pretty good. VRM and snow, I can take a look at those. Uh, let's get rid of seat. Take a look at snow first. Oh, you and your large caps. Yeah, it is looking pretty good. I, I like the volume, that's for sure. Uh, we've got VRM. VRM's looking pretty good. Nice run up. We're looking at $1.40 to $1, almost $1.60. That's a pretty good range on a dollar stock. <laughs> AMC, yeah, definitely. GHSI, I wouldn't say I've never played AMC. I have taken day trades on AMC before. GSI, GHSI, uh, it's looking good. My problem with that is it's way, way too cheap. I would rarely, unless there's absolutely nothing else to play, I won't touch a stock that's like in the 20 cent range just because like for your stop loss with the kind of risk management I need, it would be literally like one cent. Um, but yeah, the chart itself looks good. Um, AMC... Yeah, actually, I do like that chart pattern. It is even in the playable range right now. We have a lot of volume on that. It's not bad, actually. We might, if we have nothing else to play, maybe we'll jump in with the apes and take some trades. Who knows? Um, AGRI does look like it uh, held at that VWAP, went up quite a bit to three fifteen from three dollars, coming back down a little bit. The range is okay at best, I'd say. We're not going to make a huge amount of money off these quick day trades with it. Um, but if we have nothing else, this is always an option. Um, APYX still slowly gaining. Uh, VRM back down. We could potentially try a play on VRM from $1.50. I feel like it's pretty risky. We have that MACD coming down. We're not seeing a lot of volume right now, so I think we're going to leave that be. Um, RDBX looks like it's starting to move back up. Um, GovX is actually held pretty steady at this point. Um, if it does drop a little bit, maybe to 185, I'm going to look for a re-entry and put the stop below, um, that 200 EMA by a little bit there. So probably 180. I'm going to give it that five cent range. Um, I think that's probably a fairly safe bet because we haven't really seen GovX really give up too much during the day. Except later in the day, of course. I think later in the day yesterday was pretty uh, nasty. Yeah, right there. But uh, besides that, we've seen the mornings holding up pretty good for it. So if we do get that little dip, I'll probably take a play off it. Uh, SPRC not doing anything. We're just going to close SPRC down. RDBX, slight curl up. We did see, uh, actually, uh, BKSY did end up holding off that support line um, and start to make its way back up. So it's not terrible. I mean, it might be playable. I'm a little worried that it's bouncing around the zero threshold on MACD here. Uh, that does kind of worry me a little bit. So I'll have to see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's holding that support line anymore as it falls through. Get rid of that. It's just an old stop loss. Um, VRM. You know what? It's holding so far, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take a VRM play. Uh, 152 to 160 with a 140, <clears throat> sorry, 148 stop. So 148 gives us plenty of room here. Um, four cent stop isn't the end of the world with a dollar fifty stock. That's about three percent, so I think we should be fine there. VRM GovX looking like it's starting to make a comeback here. Definitely a little too high for me to want to jump in it, but that MACD is just crossing now. Oh, there we go. There's a good, a good drop. I think I'm going to take that. I'm going to go on GovX here, one round 188. Um, we're going to go for um, a 205 PT and then a 1 
82 stop. So we're going to give it that extra cent. We're going to get, make that a uh, six cent trade. We're going to go 182. Still a little tight, in my opinion. I do think that we could... Um, this is going to bother me. I do think that we could um, probably do with another cent or two in room, but I don't think we're going to get it. So we'll have to take what we can get here and uh, move on from there. Okay. RDBX is kind of looking weak right now. We haven't seen it break positive on that MACD in a while. We still have lots of volume, but it's so far, it's it's looking risky. Uh, BKSY is breaking down a little bit. VRM is looking okay right now. We're up about two cents on it. Uh, APYX has to come down. It's, it's The price action's been spotty. The volume has been pretty spotty. It just I can't see this climbing any higher. Um, AGRI looks like it's consolidating pretty heavily again. I thought we were going to see a drop last time. We saw a little bit of a drop down to that VWAP, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, we're almost at that VWAP this time anyway, so I do think that this could drop a lot further, especially when you see a stock touching that VWAP and you see your MACD just about to cross through and head uh, bearish. That's usually a bad sign. AMC still going for it. He slept in. Lucky. I almost slept in today. I have a bad habit of turning my alarm off and then closing my eyes to think. And then that usually ends bad. It looks like RDBX might come back here. It needs to break through this resistance. So we can break through this resistance and it can break through that uh, VWAP line. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little confused there. It sounded like you were replying to me, but then you were replying to a different comment. Um, yeah, to think, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. To close your eyes and like think about what you have to do and stuff, and then usually you just pass out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely a trap. It happens every time, and I know it's a trap, because every time I do it, I just about pass out, and then I catch myself. Or maybe I do pass out, because usually by the time I open my eyes, it's like five minutes later, and I really don't feel like I was sitting there for five minutes. Oh, oh man, my fiancé has like ten alarms in the morning, and it's so annoying. I can't stand it. I hate alarms. One alarm, if I don't get up, it's done. I'm just not getting up. VRM 155 looking good on that trade. Um, GovX is looking okay. I mean, this, the price action is getting a little spotty. We aren't seeing a lot of conviction here, but we are seeing buyers holding it up so far, so that's good news. Oh yeah, you're like that, eh? Take it off the charger and hide it. Um, SPRC, we could take another look at SPRC. I wasn't really seeing too much I liked about it, but we can always take another look at it. Yeah, I mean, the volume is okay. I think the major problem I have is like the, the price range is okay, but it's just the candles aren't really moving all too much. Well, they're, they're pretty big though. Like this is a pretty big range going from 316 all the way up to about 328 on a single candle. So, I mean, you might be able to make money on it. Um, it's, it's just one of those ones that it doesn't look great, but you could make okay money on it. I do think that you're hitting a resistance line right now. You have a resistance and then you have that VWAP resistance, so you might want to wait for a better entry. Maybe back down towards that like $3 range or $2.95 area. Uh, but you could make some money off of that for sure. BKSY is another one where we have a potential entry coming up. Uh, I would say buying at this range here around that 230 mark is probably the best bet and then putting a stop around 228 or something. I think we're going to actually do that. PKSY. Um, 230 or better. We're going to go. Um, we're going to aim for that 250 mark again. It seems pretty far away right now, but I think we could hit it. And then a 220 to 227. Just to be safe. Okay. So if this starts to break down further than uh, around this area, 228-ish, we'll probably just try to cut it before it hits that stop, but we'll have to see. Because this is, uh, it's not looking super bullish right now, but I don't expect it to make a new low very quickly, and we might see some pressure build up before that. So we're just kind of getting a preemptive entry here. 
RDBX looks like it's been consolidating for quite some time. Um, bearish currently. Might make its move up, but I think that one's still risky as well. GovX isn't looking exactly bullish either. But uh, we'll have to see. Um, VRM hit all the way up to 157. We're actually getting very close to that 160 mark. We could probably start to scale out of VRM. Starting to scale out of the VRM. As we hit this 158 mark. Probably, we'll probably hit that... Uh, 160 mark fairly easily, but I just want to be safe again uh, because we are up pretty high on this. BKSY still holding at that 230 mark. VRM looks like it wants to go. It's always weird to see a candle moving up and down, but the price not changing because it's like less than a cent. BKSY just died. Yep, that's why we had a fairly tight stop there. I was kind of afraid it was going to do that, but on the off chance that we did actually, um, on the off chance that we did actually call it right and it was going to move back up, I wanted to make sure that we had a good entry on it to make as much money as humanly possible, but it did end up dying. Late trigger. What uh, what brokerage are you on? I mean, it was a pretty sharp nice knife. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good brokerage. So yeah, it was just a sharp knife. I think <clears throat> it's hard to get um, exact fills when it, something drops so dramatically. It also depends on the spread, but the spread doesn't look bad. So it must have just been a really sharp knife. Um, GovX looking okay. So it's moving back up. HGRI really, uh, it did fall down a little bit again, um, kind of as predicted here, but I'm still not really feeling HGRI. I don't think that this is going to be something I want to play. I feel like the volume is a little too sporadic and all over the place, and the range really isn't good enough for me to want to play it, so I think we're just going to close that one down. Um, AMC still has potential. I mean, going from 12 bucks to 12.70 isn't terrible. We'll leave it open for now. Um, SBRC is in fact coming back down a little bit. We'll probably see it at that three dollar range. That might be a potential entry. Um, RDBX also giving up. GovX looking good though as we hit that uh, one ninety four area, one ninety five maybe. If we can hit like one ninety seven, one ninety eight, definitely a good price point to start to, uh, taking profits. APYX is still going. This thing is so hard to read. Uh, we did see 159 on VRM back down a little bit, seeing some knifing happen. It's a good thing we took most of that trade out. We just got a little bit left in there to see if we can hit that 160 or better. Um, we, so we still might. I don't think it's going to happen right away, though. I think that's the major problem. Ah, let's see. RDBX. Yeah, might be able to take a play off the 200 EMA here. That's a potential. Definitely have to see about that, though. I think B BKSY is going to come back. Yeah, this is curling off the Bulger Band. It's looking okay. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't be trusting it quite yet because it did just make a new low. So I think that's a major problem with it. Definitely has volume backing it up though, so we might see it recover. I would like to see it recover. It leaves one extra thing for us to play. Um, VRM still kind of struggling here. We are seeing a lot of sellers uh, stacking up. This chat's just not in a good place. I need to make that a little bit smaller, I think. 158 on VRM again. Hopefully we can hit that 160 mark. Hmm. Yeah, we saw just a massive increase in volume on uh, APYX here over the last couple of candles, but I do think this is going to lead to volume exhaustion and the stock will, will drop, so I'm really not too keen on taking a play on this. Although we could have made okay money on it, that's for sure.
feel like we're being a little a uh, little more conservative today. We're only up 160k, which sounds like a lot, but at this point it's really not. What are we up percentage wise? Just 20%. Oh, why is it showing two GovX trades at 0%? Huh. I'll have to go back and fix that. GovX at 191 here. Still kind of struggling. Not really going too far in either direction, but uh, we might see some profits here eventually. Uh, VRM looks like it did have a nice pullback, but it is going to continue up so far. Uh, SPRC does look like it's going to be probably curling up as well. We could probably try an SPRC trade. So we're looking at probably a $3 entry. I wouldn't really want to get in higher than that. Uh, I'd like to get at least $320 out of it, maybe even $330, and then we're going to go for a $290 stop. So our stop is going to be right here. And we're waiting for it to come down a little bit. gotten pretty close to that three dollar entry a couple times so i'm sure we can do it again govx 195 we are touching that 197 area we can start to scale govx out we'll probably see more out of this but i want to secure that profit when we hit that 10 cent mark SPRC down a cent. Hmm. It looks like we're hitting a wall here on VRM at 159. So if you still have a lot in VRM, I'd definitely be looking to take at least most of it out at uh, 158, 159, something like that. RDBX is still, you know, not dead, but might curl up here eventually. I would really hope that we see a curl up. Galax does tap out at uh, 198, all the way back down to 193. Still made okay money off that. 10 cents on a $2 stock is definitely not the worst. SPRC is still sitting at 309. Man, APYX just won't give it up. It's just still going. All right, well, I guess we have to, we're probably going to have to try an APYX trade. Even though it's pretty hard to read, and I would really just assume it should be coming back down. It's just not so. Sometimes it's, uh, you just have to take that risk, and I think uh, we're at that point. So we're probably going to aim for about a 540 entry with a 520 stop, and we'll go for a 580 PT. And of course, we're seeing a nice spike here. Got back back down. We see a nasty dip back down to 188. That is a potential buy area. So I would actually like to um, start looking for another GovX trade around that 185 ish area. <clears throat> 188 is probably the high end of what I'd go, go in at. Um, we're going to go for that. I'd like to still hit at least $2 on it. I don't know if that'll happen at this point. And then we're going to go for a 180 stop. Basically five cent room for it from wherever you uh, decide to get in. But, uh, preferably 185 as an entry and then a 180 stop. SPRC is still sitting at 109. So, so far we haven't gotten anything out of that. VRM with a nasty drop, so hopefully you did end up taking profits uh, up here. This could be a potential re-entry, but we haven't seen this break bearish on that MACD in a while, so it'll ever today, really. So we'll have to uh, wait and see what happens with that. APYX looks like it's basically at our entry point. We did see uh, as low as 535 there. Looking okay. Pullbacks are pretty normal. Well, hopefully it stops um, at that VWAP and not much lower, depending where you got in. If you got in lower than 540, just give it a 20 cent stop loss. 
GovX still holding pretty strong. SPRC still holding that uh, 310 mark, not really moving very much. Uh, VRM potential entry. I'd like to see that volume start to pick up. We are seeing a lot of buyers, though. There's a lot of buyers on this side, 136 or 138 buyers. So BKSY, potentially it could turn around here. It's about as low we've, as we've seen today, but we are hitting a, um, a support line from yesterday's aftermarket. So potentially there, there's something there. I'd like to say VRM is going to go, but we're seeing a really big decrease in volume right now, and it's kind of worrying me. APYX still at that 540 mark. SPRC bouncing up to 324. Is ES actually moving slower? Yeah, no kidding. These candles are pretty uh, tame. I would say it's kind of overextended right now myself. It's probably going to come back down, but who really knows with this, honestly? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not super chop. Actually, I, I thrive off the chop on ES. When it's picked a direction, I don't know why, but I try to fight it as hard as I can. Yeah, as PRC is looking pretty good watching it. We're at 324. If you got in a little bit higher, you're probably good to take profits on it. We're at that 325 mark. We were really only aiming for that, uh, really only aiming for that 320. So, I mean, it, anything higher than that's just gravy at this point. Um, GovX hasn't really come back down far enough. This is one I'm kind of hard to duck on. Um, I really don't want to take a higher entry than at least 188. And we're seeing a lot of volume decrease here, so that's another bad side. Oh, man. Uh, VRM is looking okay, though. I mean, it's still holding that VWAP line pretty pretty well here. We are seeing a little bit of an increase in volume. I think uh, VRM is probably going to be the play here. Um, VRM, 154. We're going to try for 160. And then a 1, just a 150 stop. I feel like every time I start to make a call, it starts to move right then and there. Uh, what's APYX doing? We are down on APYX. We're stopping out on that. I knew that was going to be a stop. I had to try anyway, though. I still think this one looks like it could potentially go up. That MACD is actually cooled off quite a bit without a huge decrease in uh, volume or uh, price, which is good. Um, but we'll have to see. VRM's got a huge candle. We're at 157. If we can hit 158, I would probably consider taking a little bit of the profit. SBFM, let's take a look at that. SBFM. There we go. Yeah, SBFM's not looking too bad. Yeah, as PRC is uh, making moves now, we're up at uh, 350. I I'm going to take some profit here. Uh, 345. Let's take a look and make that scaling out of SPRC position. That was actually kind of a fluke, I think. I wasn't really intending for it to go off that high, but I'll take it. Obviously, I'm not going to not going to not take the profits, but I wasn't expecting that. You completely missed SPRC. Yeah, it was uh, like it was sitting there doing nothing for so long. It was kind of I was starting to lose patience with it. But we started to when we saw that 320 mark. I don't know why it's just the candles are so small. I just decided not to take profits on it. And then it shot up. So definitely taking profits here because it would be really, really unwise to not when you're up like 30 cents on it or something. Still have a little bit left in it. Probably not a smart idea, but I'm I'm still going to because there's that off chance that we start to see this actually move move and it'll go up a lot more, but we'll have to see. 
Uh, VRM almost at that 158. It looks like it's holding 157 pretty well. This looks like a Wyckoff dip. Um, so I, I do think we'll see 158 here. So I'm not really too keen on taking profits at 157. Could be a mistake. It could come back down and stop us out, but I really don't think so. I think we'll see that 158. Um, APYX still dropping. Uh, BKSY not really coming back just yet. RDBX curl, it's it's a potential. There's definitely potential there from 770 to, yeah, you know what? The range isn't even that bad on it. You could definitely make money off it. For some reason, I'm just like, I'm not into touching RDBX today. I think that around this $8 mark, it starts to lose a lot of its conviction. Like, it's pretty bullish at $3, and it's like, okay, it's $6, but I feel like every time I've seen it hit like 8 bucks or somewhere around that price range, we've seen a massive uh, drop on it. Yeah, this is like we're near the high of RDBX right now, so. We'll have to see, but. I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I think there's money to be made. I'm just not feeling it for whatever reason. VRM starting to give up. Still haven't gotten our entry on GovX, which is kind of a shame because we did see it actually push back up to that one, um, 197, 198 level. And then we're looking at um, VRM kind of falling here. RDBX, uh, yeah, nice green candle there going from 794 all the way up to 807. SPRC still sitting up pretty high. We actually made a new high at 360. Scaling out the rest of SPRC around 360, if we get back there. SBFM, yeah, it's still looking okay. We're not, uh, I don't think we're going to touch this one. It's just too high up right now, but you never know. It could could come back down and it could be playable. Um, well, let's try mod. Oh, not void, mod. Yeah, no, I don't like that. BBW. Nope. Enob. Also a no. Um, I think we checked C and C E earlier. Yeah, it's looking okay. I don't think we're gonna play it though. D X L G. No. All right. Just making sure we have all the good tickers open. R D B X still hovering around eight. We have GovX still one oh five or one ninety five. And we have 155 on VRM, hitting a low with that 154. Not looking too great on uh, VRM. This looks like it's going to curl up. APYX, I think I'm going to give this one another go. APYX, this could in fact just continue down, but I think it's going to go up. 505, uh, we're going to aim for 550, uh, and then we'll go for a 490 stop. This looks like a textbook curl, so hopefully it plays out that way. SPRC does hit that 360 level again. We might even see higher than that. I'm trying not to get too greedy about it, though, so I think I'm just going to take my profits and run. Um, GovX not really coming down to our entry point. I'm still hard stuck on that 185 to 188 level, so... Not going to jump in on that too high. The range is just too small otherwise. AMC making some moves here. It goes back down to 1230 all the way up to 1270. There's definitely money to be made here. I'm just not a huge fan of the $12 mark. Although it should be with the amount of cash we're playing with right now. I should definitely be looking at these higher stocks. It's just that like normally they don't move like this, so... Normally, you're not seeing, you know, 50, 60, 70 cent moves every 10 seconds. Not every 10 seconds, maybe every 10 minutes. But yeah, um, usually it's not like that. SPRC definitely gaining a lot of uh, volatility here, going up and down quite a bit. SPRC is not looking terrible, but... Or uh, GovX isn't looking terrible, but again, not really close enough to that entry point at all. 
BKSY could be another textbook curl up here. We are seeing it break positive on the MACD. Volume still decreasing though, so this could be a weak move unless we start seeing that volume start to pick up. Uh, VRM, we're starting to see that 157 level again. Good thing we held um, and didn't chicken out there when it started to drop to 154 again. I do think we'll see 158 still, we'll just have to give it that chance. Uh, APYX has yet to curl, starting to not look so great. We did see it start to curl up nicely and then a little bit of a drop here, uh, and it's working its way back up, so it still feels like 50-50 to me. Anyways, guys, this is where I'm going to end the uh, recording. Uh, let's take a look here. So far, we're up three. Uh, it's not showing. I'll do it again later. But uh, yeah, we're up quite a bit today. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is where we ended today. We, uh, as far as trades go, we didn't take too many trades. We took a couple GovX trades, uh, like half of them worked out. We took a couple of APYX trades that didn't really go the way we wanted them to. Uh, our big winner today was SPRC. We were aiming for about 20 cents and got almost 60 cents out of it. So that was pretty great. Um, besides that, we just got a couple small winners. Um, we're up about $370,000 for the day. That brings our account total to $1.2 million from a $500 start. Um, a lot better than I thought we were going to do this month. We got a couple more days. I think we got two more days left. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, keep going with that and see how far we can take it. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.